Okay, I'm gonna do this video one more time. One more damn time. <laughs> one more damn time. I've done this three times. I hate this. Oh my God, Mercury is like direct. I got the snail trail thing going on. So show your love and support. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for everyone who has. Subscribe to the channel. Help it grow. Your viewership is important because the viewership here sucks. I mean... So if you like what I do and you like my content, please make sure to share. Um, I will be posting up the daily horoscopes and I'm working on the monthly horoscopes as well. Pluto goes direct next month. Ooh, big changes there. So this week, beautiful changes are happening. Lots of kite energy is happening. So if you have planets from 10 degrees to 20, 29 degrees in the sign of Sagittarius this week, you're going to be experiencing the kite energy. Mars is going to be forming a kite energy. If you don't have planets in Sagittarius, don't worry about it. It means that you don't have any, um, you don't have any lessons in that house. That's what it means. So if you don't have planets in certain houses, but you got to remember the asteroids. So you may want to check out Astro theme for that. It'll show you where the asteroids are. But it just means that if you don't have like major planets in there or any planets in there or even just one, you don't really have that many lessons um, in that house. OK, so don't worry about it. Like for me, I don't I only have like one planet. I have Neptune in Sagittarius. OK, so and that's it. So that means that I don't have any lessons there as a Pisces with that um, in my 11th. Wait in my 10th house of career okay so it just means that it just means that you don't really have that much lessons okay so for some of you but you will feel this effect on the 20th on the no the 21st and the 22nd because no the 21st yeah the 21st and 22nd because the moon um will be um in Sagittarius sectiling and forming a kite energy with Mars so if you don't if you're like oh my god I ain't experienced shit well Yes, you will. It'll just be on the 21st and the 22nd because this week the moon in Sagittarius is it is transiting for three days, forming a kite energy. So the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd, you'll experience the effects of this. Some of you may experience this on Monday. A lot of beautiful changes happening for you. Others of you, you will not, okay? So that's what's going on there. So for some of you, this could be a move happening with this energy. This could be changes happening with family. You may have to make repairs around the home, or you may have to move to another location with this energy as well. For some of you, this could be eviction notices by landlord or those in authority want you to move because the location that you live in is downtrodden at this time so they're trying to force you out or something like that so we can see that on the news um, this is not the easiest time for dealing with family and family matters or your personal life becomes more the focus Neptune is in retrograde still forming that kite energy but it's also not well aspected with Vesta first fourth and seventh house so you can feel things intensely for some of you here be careful of the um, decisions that you make at this time. This could be you like being ghosted. This could be you fighting with siblings or not getting along with family members. For some of you this week, the focus is more towards your personal life. This is a time where you're dealing with like a lot of energies from last week here. So you could look back at last week to see how this week is gonna affect you. Then Jupiter and Uranus are both forming a kite energy for a little bit here with these energies. So this could be like you relying more on your intuition. You could be adding more to your plate and taking on other people's problems. I would be really careful with that this week as well because um, Sagittarius is activated so that means that you could be really gullible at this time so I would be careful how much you do for others um, for some of you here change is happening with your career sector for the better personal life um, is something else at this time the moon in Scorpio um, is forming a kite energy with the 6th, 7th, and 8th house here and with your 2nd house. So this could be good news and you benefit through the women in your life this week. They could be doing something special for you. You could be moving in with them. They could be giving you money just because, you know, they have a little extra and they want to take care of you. Or if you need a bill paid, they'll help you pay for a bill or co-sign something at this time for you as well. <coughs> 
and I'm also a bit sick, so forgive me. This is also a beautiful time to get your juju, your voodoo, and your santeria on um, with this energy. Those of you who are celebrating high holidays, because we have Sukkot coming up, and we also have Yom Kippur, and then I'm sure um, in the different other religions, I'm sure that there's re there's um, holidays, religious holidays coming up this week. So this is a very beautiful energy time here to really get the power of prayer on at this time for some of you here not the best time signing loans or making arrangements with other people or agreements with other people so be careful what you say yes to be careful of the agreements or the promises you make with other people because other people are not going to live up to whatever arrangement that you made with them with this energy here okay so you could find yourself very screwed at this time this is also a beautiful time for rapid growth happening for you with business this could also be um you cutting down your debts at this time so a great time for catching up on bills prospernia she is the bride of hades she's forming a kite energy this week um as well and then she's going to be highlighted by the moon in scorpio on tuesday here Okay, and so this could be um, expect the unexpected with your money situation. Certain obstacles may no longer apply in your life with your career or financial situation at this time. This could be a great time with court with this energy, making lifestyle changes, focusing more towards your health, quitting bad habits. You're likely to work much harder to get ahead now. Be careful um, to get enough rest. You could have heart troubles at this time. This could also be good news. This could be a raise or a promotion. A great time for word of mouth. This is you being more open to a new way of doing things um, with this energy, exploring your sexuality and being more open to that with this energy here. So I would be careful for, the, for those of you in the LGBTQT community. You know how that goes. I get a lot of those readings too. So and especially my, my guys from California, you know. Mm, okay okay so yeah yeah and i know how some of you get about that too so that's very controversial but i feel like you're gonna be bumping into those gentlemen this week so you've been warned okay and i know how you don't like some of you don't mind it some of you it's like oh hell no i ain't teaching nobody how to do nothing <laughs> you know so yeah yeah <laughs> then prosperia is forming a yod this week as well you need to work on giving other people the benefit of the doubt so this could be second chances with relationships because mercury is now direct this could be you pursuing the crush now um, for some of you but you're at a crossroads in your life so you could be sitting on your hands about the things that you want to do the changes that you want to do for Spurney out here deals with shadow work and making you look at yourself and making you kind of like reevaluate things at this time so for some of you here this could be like a really confusing time for you like you could be really at a crossroads in your life so you may not make any decisions till Pluto goes direct on October 27th and then if not then then definitely when Saturn goes direct and then if you're really being stubborn because you got a stellum in Taurus then in January when Pluto goes direct when Pluto moves into Aquarius but I it's gonna be on the 27th but I feel like it's gonna be more like on the first where we start first of February where we start being more aggressive when it comes to things that we want Vesta moves into cancer so the focus is more towards your family life it's not well aspected squaring palace in, in um, Libra in the seventh house Neptune in retrograde in the 12th house. Your relationships with your children or other family members can be suffering at this time. Because of possessiveness, jealousy, or trust issues, this could be coming out, out um, for others. Let me see. What did I write? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. This could be dealing with nosy neighbors at this time or not getting along with the landlord, dealing with property matters. For some of you, don't expect people in your life to keep their promises, especially when it comes to like picking up your kids at this time. You know, you could be feeling some kind of damn way because people could be canceling on you. You may have to get a plan B, a plan C, a plan D, E, F, G at this time. For some of you, you may not like where you live because you don't get along with others or you don't feel safe um, in your neighborhood so you may want to leave i feel for others of you this is dealing with external pressures that are going to be the catalyst for change in your home life because you're going to be blowing up on your partner so like if you're like working 40 hours 80 hours a week and like your partner's overstepping your boundaries and not listening to you and you don't feel like you're being heard you may be like f it i'm out my bitch deuces and then like leave you know because you want to be 
more about your peace. You want to you don't want to come home and clean and you know, you you want to be acknowledged for what you bring to the table and I think that's what's going on is that you're not being acknowledged, you're kind of being bossed around and it's going to piss you off. Then on the 21st, you're able to make sense out of certain situations happening in your life. So this could be epiphanies happening and self-realizations. Chiron is forming um, a kite energy with Mars in the seventh house. So this could be receiving some much needed good news, getting a job. Zeus also has a kite energy as well. So you could be very generous. You could be more focused on other people's problems. This could be business picking up at this time. A great time for media and social media. For others of you, um, you have like a lot of influence over other people. So you tend to make a lot more sense. There is a great time for sharing your expertise advice or getting people to do what you want them to do. Also on the 21st, it's a great time to start like requesting things for others. This would be a great time to do that and asking for favors or if you need to request time off. The 21st would be perfect for that. Also with this energy, this could be a great time to mingle if you're single. You can meet someone new with the right chemistry. This could be dealing with co-parenting and this could be like you and the other partner, like coexisting and getting along on this day. So you may have an easier time getting along with other people that you typically like, you know, you know how y'all are. It's like, hi, bye, hi, bye. Like, that's it. What you got to say? Okay, I don't want to hear it. I don't care. Get here, take the kids. Bye. You know, it's like, hi, bye. I don't want to connect with you. I don't want to talk to you. But this day, you're kind of just like chilled and stuff like that. You're just like, okay, uh-huh, you know, kiki. Okay, yeah, great. Oh, you have some pizza? Sure, I'll have some pizza. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye. You know, it's like that. So you're good at that. Then on the 22nd, moon and Sagittarius, you have a beautiful energy happening. You have a kite energy happening with Neptune, of course, Propensia, Mars, and then the moon in Capricorn um, is forming a kite energy on Friday, which is well aspected with Vesta. Vesta is forming a water trine with Ceres and Neptune. So this could be, and then you still have an earth trine happening, which is part of the kite energy. So this is a beautiful time for change. This is a beautiful time for clarity. You could be relying more on your intuition. This could be a beautiful time for business picking up with this energy. Um, this is all about changes, but this is like, it's going to be like positive changes for you with your routine. Also, you could be changing things around you. This could be getting a raise, getting a job, and kind of like a financial incentive coming to you. So someone could be gifting you something, or you could be getting a free meal out of it, or something financial could be happy somebody could be helping you out financially this could be getting your child support check money matters could be in your favor office um, pace is usually quicker and more exciting there's probably ways of significantly streamlining your office routine if not this is a great time for school and streamlining your schoolwork at this time this could be updating your business with the latest and greatest in technology this could be working smarter not harder you seek to express more of yourself through your work or even through your schooling superiors will probably allow you greater procedural freedom at this time with this energy okay let's see what the cards have to say make sure to subscribe the first card i come up with is the ten of coins okay there's an emphasis on money all right so this could be more money coming in like i said with this energy the page of wands oh my goodness i feel like for some of you here you're dealing with somebody that's young and dumb okay that's what i'm hearing young and dumb <laughs> so this could be like i don't know you got like a, like a little boy toy or something like that but yeah they're stupid but anyways i think you like them like that too because then you could play with them and it's like okay you know um for some of you, you could be receiving some much needed good news in regards to money this week the ace of wands you're very open-minded to trying new things with this energy here i feel like you could be jumping into something new this could be some much needed good news with this energy here because you're very you see things very brightly at this time the sun card yeah you're receiving you're seeing things in technicolor this week so like i said a lot of beautiful things are coming up so that's like a lot of things that you want to happen falling into place this week and you just seeing the world as bright bubbly and optimistic this is restoring your faith in God, you know, that kind of situation happening. This is getting a job. This could be getting your homeowners 
association thing accepted you know for some of you here but you're very excited about the news that is coming your way with this energy okay is what i'm seeing the page of cups i feel like with the pages here um certain messages that are going to be coming through right now they're not going to be received right away so this could be after october um with saturn going direct okay so these are future messages that are coming now it depends what's going on in your chart if you want to um like see your yearly or your six month report i don't do the auspicious numbers on it or the um i just do like the month the month based on your date of birth time and place and then the, the tarot okay so if you want to check that out then check that out in the link in the description box below um to see how your how your chart is going to be and how things are going to affect you okay so this is general reading um with everybody okay the seven of coins something heavy on your mind at this time so like i said you're at a crossroads in your life you're not so, this is a confusing time for some of you you're not so quick to jump into anything new or start anything new at this time even new opportunities coming up at work you may be trying to keep things open as possible because either you're trusting your intuition or you're banking on something else to come in the six of swords you're moving forward at this time get the hell out of your damn head this could also be trips coming up for you with this energy for some of you um for some of you this could be studying online at this time as i connect with this energy i feel you could be also very sensitive at this time because of Vesta, because of Hades, because of Coronas, because of Poseidon. Poseidon's not well aspected as well. I talked about that. Um, so at this time, you're very sensitive. Um, don't be, don't take things personally. Don't read into things. You know, I feel like you can be, like, I do feel like you can be very possessive with situations. Maybe you're not so, maybe you're not so quick to leave a situation because of your, of the ego because you are being rejected so you're not so quick to jump to leave you know that's a trick of getting a, of Aries to stay is to reject them and then they'll stay you know so you know that could be your part of the ego in dealing with rejection that you have to deal with and you have to come to terms with and be like okay I'm going to continue walking away you know so it's up to you what you want to do for some of you I feel like you're recommitting yourself to certain projects okay that you haven't been working on you could be recommitting yourself to those renewal of creative manifestations happening here the queen of cups new love is coming in but it's the page of cups so it's not happening anytime soon somebody's going to get their karma and you're going to watch it okay you're going to watch their karma and the things that you said the things that you've been through, they're, they're going to understand what the hell you were talking about, okay? So they're going to see the same thing that you were seeing. So this could be like with a friend and you kept telling them, no, don't be that friend. Don't go to that person. No, don't do that. Don't do that. And they did it. And they, now you're like, boom. There you go. Now they're suffering through it, okay? So that's what I see happening with that. I feel like this is a great time for art therapy, a fun time for art teachers with this energy. So get your creativity on. You know, you could have a fun time with your kids and doing the Halloween thing and the fall thing with them and they could be enjoying themselves. The Nine of Coins, I feel like this is a move happening or thoughts of moving. For some of you here, this could be reaching some kind of pinnacle in your love life. I do see for some of you here that you need to let go of the past, okay? You may be feeling like you want to reach out to somebody or maybe somebody reach out to you and you're kind of sitting on your hands about it like... I don't know you like you need more convincing or something like that but I feel like you know let bygones be bygones because even though you're still feeling some kind of damn way about it and you still want your apology these people have all forgotten about it these people want you to come back into the fold so this could be dealing with family and family this week could be trying to reach out to you hold on <coughs> oh my goodness so family could be trying to reach out to you but you're not having nothing to do with them. You're like, eh, eh, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. And, you know, and it's like because you're still giving certain situations life. And meanwhile, they all have moved on. Okay. And they're all like, oh, we forgive you. Come back into the fold with this energy. You know, I feel like for some of you here, it could have been a death that reconnects you guys back together again you know and you're not having it you're like oh hell no you know i don't blame you i don't do that stuff either it's like it's like don't allow something so important like death to bring to bring us back you know uh, -uh. no you should have done that like a while ago okay um for some of you here this is a great time for sales this is a great time for um 
like you're very charming and you have like a lot of influence over other people is what I'm seeing. The oh Knight of Cups, no blessings. What? Okay. No blessings. Blessings onto the universe here with this energy. I feel like for some of you here the focus could be on if you like live near water or if you're a snowbird, you could be moving back to the south to um to your place of residence at this time with this energy here. I feel for some of you here, you are no longer being, um, um, you are being more reliable on yourself at this time <coughs> and your more self is sufficient at this time. So you don't re really need to rely on other people with this energy. So this is bringing you a greater sense of freedom and independence this week with this energy here as well. For some of you here, you could be meeting your Prince Charming at this time with this energy or your princess, okay? So somebody, there is a new romantic prospect coming into your life at this time, okay? The Six of Wands, this is a time of moving forward with this energy here as well. Um, I do feel like there's money worries happening here with some of the coin cards. Let me see, one, two, three... Okay, let's pull this one up. Okay, so there could be some money worries happening, and I do see like fortune bubbling over during this time period as well for you. So this could be a good time for career, like I was saying, you know, beautiful time for um, co um for court. I do see you being confident in regards to legal matters, so I feel like that could end very quickly, or it could be more in your favor, or you may not have to, if you have to deal with like child custody battles or something like that, you may not have to pay much as you thought, so whatever number you're thinking in your head, it could be less than that, okay? Um, for some of you here, I feel like the focus is more towards family at this time with this energy here. Um, the Nine of Swords, you are closing certain cycles in your life, whether you want to or not. You're thinking about it. You're trying to control the situation or the narrative at this time, and it's not going to work, okay? So you have to go with the flow. I do see an emphasis on loneliness at this time for some of you here with this energy, okay? The Three of Wands, this is a time of moving forward and kind of looking back with this energy. Or for some of you, like, kind of like, like you have like one foot in the door, one foot out the door, but at the same time, you may not be ready to move forward, okay, for whatever reason. <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me, why I die now, excuse me. Um, so at this time, I feel like, you know, this could be a time of moving forward and looking back. I do see traveling coming up for you this week with this energy, are making plans to travel this week as well for some of you here with this energy. The three of coins, teamwork makes the dream work. <coughs> oh, let me take another sip. Oh my goodness. Teamwork makes the dream work with this energy as well. Alrighty, so I do see collaborations coming up for you with this energy. I do see you being ahead of your time. So for some of you here, you could be trendsetters this week with this energy because I didn't really see any, you don't have like really, you have Pluto in retrograde and you kind of have a lot of earth, but it's being supported, you know, it's not that badly aspected except for Vesta and Cancer. So I feel like some people in your life are traditionalist in your life and they need a lot of, of like um, convincing at this time. <laughs> I promise I'm going to take a cough syrup or something after this read. Like, I was all good, and now I'm like, oh my god, I'm dying. Sometimes what happens, whatever message I'm supposed to send, you know, if you see, like, a psychic start coughing and stuff, whatever message they're supposed to send or give you, it's really not supposed to be heard. The same thing with, like, priests and rabbis. If they're supposed to say something that's full of wisdom or something like that that's going to be like life changing and they start choking <laughs> that's why because they don't spirit don't want you to know everything you know um so this is um being ahead of your time but i feel like at the same time you need to convince other people of what you're doing with this energy i do see for some of you international business coming up for you as well with this energy so there could be some traveling to different countries as well and i feel like you know again people are traditionalist in their ways of thinking because vesta is not well aspected so you may have to be very convincing talk facts talk numbers with this energy here 
as well. Um, yeah, and talk statistics, you know, just, you know, be analytical and be about facts, alrighty? But I feel like, you know, you're very charming as well, and you're very convincing anyway, so I'm sure you'll have, like, a lot of influence over them. And then on top of that, you have a fire trying happening with your ninth house, so if you have planets, again, from 10 degrees to 29 degrees, you know, you should be okay, okay? Um, because it's forming a kite energy and a fire trying. So this is a very good time for communications for you, and especially foreign communications or online communications as well, okay? So you could probably sell ice to an Eskimo this week with this energy. I mean, it's that good. I do see for some of you dealing with engineers or you are an engineer or a construction worker, this could be a busy time period for you. I do feel like you're going to be gaining a new res new perspective or your opinion about somebody is going to be changing as well, okay? The Six of Cups, you can be sentimental about the past. You could be revisiting a location where you used to live. For some of you, you could have family reunion coming up. For others of you... <coughs> This could be traveling someplace where you where you normally travel to, like back and forth kind of situation, and you could be revisiting that place, okay? The Ace of Wands, I see recognition and success, having a lot of influence over other people at this time. Be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Truth is going to be revealed in regards to the past. <clears throat> with this energy doesn't mean that you'll get your apology Ooh, okay doesn't mean that you'll get your your apology but you know the tr the past is going to be rehashed this week with this energy for better or for worse okay the ten of cups your perspective again your perspective and outlook on life your opinion about somebody is going to change the way you see things are going to change now i feel like you're going to be able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes Okay, somebody in your life is going to go through a similar situation that you've been in, but they're going to come in with a different perspective about the situation and how they look at life, and that's going to help transform you emotionally. Propensia in your eighth house is going to help you emotionally transform how you see your situation. Okay, so you're going to see your situation a little bit differently this week. And for some of you, it may help you move on, you know, and it may bring healing energy for some of you because some of you are stubborn like that and you need more convincing, you know. Um, the Three of Cups, I feel like family controls the neck and they tell the head whatever it is that they want it to do and you do it. I feel like you could be more invested in family. I feel family could be really pawning things off of you because they know that you'll take care of it. And that's going to piss you off too because you know that they know that they're taking advantage of your kindness and they're really using you and they're messing up at this time. This could be your children. And they're coming you, to you with their problems and their problems cost money. Okay? And that's the problem. Alrighty, uh, let me see. I do feel like teamwork makes the dream work this week. There's an emphasis on that. For some of you, you're definitely receiving a confidence boost this week with this energy here as well um, moving forward. The three of swords, I see for some of you here, reconnection. So you could be dealing with separation or loss that's going to reconnect you with people from your past. I do feel like for some of you here, lots of communications going on with family and friends during this time period, even though they're trying to get you to go somewhere or to be around certain people in your life and you're not having it because you had a nasty falling out with certain people. But I feel like this person is going to be the bigger person and reach out to you somehow, somewhere. You might even get tricked into it where a friend or family member is going to bring you around this person and then you have no choice but to talk to this person because I feel like this person is so desperate to talk to you because they want to heal this and they want to move on even though that you don't you really don't want to hear it because you don't want to go there you don't want to be vulnerable you know it's like I'm healed I moved on no you're not because you can't sit there and listen so you're not okay you can't have this awkward conversation but you should it's healing okay uh, I feel like for some of you here there is definitely more of a camaraderie with the people that you work with this week so you could feel like more like family to them with this energy you could feel like you're literally married to your job at this time with this energy um for some of you i see a love child Ooh, uh oh okay so so yeah i see a love child coming in um for some of you here i feel like you have a difficult time <clears throat> being vulnerable to other people and to be open of course you do because you don't want people to see that side of you so i do feel like you're unable to really communicate your feelings so it's kind of like they have to squeeze it out of you the five of cups i feel for some of you here this could be dealing with like um 
was that there's lack, worrying about money, so you're manifesting lack into your life. And then for others of you, you're really bothered by the past. And the past is coming up at this time, and you're like not having it with this energy, okay? It's what I'm feeling. And you're having to revisit this past that you don't want to talk about, you really want to run away from, you don't want to confront it, and other people are making you confront it this week, and you're feeling like, damn, okay? And I feel like, again, they're going to have to squeeze it out of you, all right? I feel like for others of you here, Father, certain things may no longer apply in your life, period. Father may stop paying for your car note. Um, your sugar daddy may start paying for your car note or you may have a falling out with the sugar daddy. I feel for some of you here, you're going to start making more money. So certain government things are not going to apply in your life at this time with this energy here. All right. Or certain things are just not going to happen for you anymore. I do feel like for some of you, there is fortune bubbling over. Okay. I do see that more money brings about healing to certain situations in the seven of swords. You can be more quiet and to yourself at this time with this energy here as well. For some of you here, I feel like, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that's sneaky or this could be you just not wanting to communicate with your feelings at this time and not wanting to really talk to anybody. Be careful. I do feel like copyright infringement, somebody copying you at this time with this energy. For others of you, somebody's taking credit for your work with this energy and you're not going to get your thank you this week and you're going to feel some kind of damn way about it. All right. I love you, my Rams. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has. I really appreciate the support. Kisses.